What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we did a lot. We got ourselves Dragon Breath. We defeated uh, Lily for the second badge. We are enabled to actually use Cut now, and, well, it is time for us to go on to the next exploration right here. And, yeah, I still haven't found the, the coin case, which I'll eventually do later on. I don't even know. Yeah, okay, so the HMO one Hayward, okay, so we actually have to go to the next the next thing right here, and I'm going to take a look at the map right here just to see where we're going to have to go. Now, I always like to keep the map first just to check out where we're at. So as you can see right here, we can't do anything going down south, so... Holy crud, okay. So what, what has to happen is we actually have to go to... We have to go back to Route 49... And then go back to Route 50, go back to Hayward uh, City, and then go east of Hayward City. So, well, maximum effort, right? Maximum effort. Okay, so let's go on and uh, continue our adventure right here. Goodbye, Osari City. And, well, there are Pokemon trainers right here that we have yet to battle. So let's go right ahead and, uh, wow, Firo Kill? Holy crap. Okay, that was, uh, was kind of tough right there. Okay. So, we're gonna actually speed through this whole battle right here and try and evolve Thrasher because uh, in our last episode we kind of failed to do so. So, here we go. And. Oh, there we go. Damn it! Lose. Yeah, we, 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 we need to work on this a little bit. So, speed through it again. Ember attack, and then we defeated this guy. And of course, Zoro grows to another level. And here he comes out with a Natu. Now, this is a new one. Not to right here, and well, let's continue on right here with the same Pokemon. Let's go straight for flamethrower attack, and we lose another Pokemon. Let's go, Shroomy. Cut attack, and we lose again. Holy crud, okay. That just shows how great of a Pokemon trainer we are, and look at that. Level 18, Ultra Psycho. Yeah, three of our Pokemon are thriving. The, th the other three are just getting their butts kicked like nobody else's business. So let's go back to the Pokemon Center. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we go. Going up against this guy. And I believe it's another bird trainer or something like that. Yes, talking about a bike or whatnot. And, well, he's coming out with a Spearow, our dreaded em enemy. And, well, we're going to think strategically this time because we got to poison this guy. So, of course, they're going to lower our defense. So there we go. Poison Sting, critical hit. Come on, poison this guy. And, wow. Thrasher, you, 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 you really, really need to improve. Because, uh, good gravy. Uh, jeez, look at that. Yeah, okay, so Thrasher right now is not getting any, any, any good looks right here. <sighs> God, should probably switch training them just a little bit because, yeah, I kind of really do want to evolve them, but these guys are preventing me from doing so, and, oh, God, okay, so die with the poison. Goddamn bird Pokemon. Okay, there we go, flamethrower attack, not flamethrower, it's an amber attack, and there we go, and, well, she's coming out, or he's coming out with a Pidgey. Let's go right ahead and go with Ultra Psycho. Level this guy up, too. So, let's go ahead and speed through this little bastard. There we go. Look at that. Confusion. Look at that. Confusion again. Super effective. And just like that, Ultra Psycho dominates everybody. So, we're going to be going back to the Pokemon Center yet again and battling probably the last trainer right here. So, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, Thrasher. You can do this. All right, Thrasher, you can do this. You will beat this guy, even if he has a freaking Spearow on his team. Okay, attempt number three. Hopefully this will work in good gravy. He's got a powered up Spearow. God dang it. Thrasher's greatest enemy. So we're going to be switching out right here. I am not wanting any of that. So let's go straight to Ultra Psycho, since he's been dominating everything. Look at that. Level 18 Ultra Psycho. And, yes, yeah, Spearow wants to just destroy us with its Leer and, uh... And, and, and other capabilities, and well, look at that, a growl attack, not going to do anything, because, yes, Ultra Psycho, not much of a physical attack in there, look at that, and, well, Thrasher finally grows to level 16, god dang it, it's about damn time, okay, alrighty, finally, okay, so after five attempts, five, six attempts, yeah, 
we finally got ourselves a Nidorino right here, and I just checked my stuff. Yeah, we never gotten a Moonstone, so I was thinking about something else right there, guys, so my bad. Uh, eventually, yes, I'm going to... Well, I will be having some time with this Pokemon right here, uh, Nidorino. And then eventually we will be evolving this guy into a Nido King, and maybe, hopefully, hopefully, just never having this guy faint ever again. So, let us continue right here. I believe we have two badges. We can actually switch Pokemon if we wanted to right now. Now, we can't go through this area right here because that is the cycling road. So, we have to go all the way back down right here and go straight back to Hayward City. And, well, we're just going to try and avoid any grassy areas right here. Look at that. The people we defeated, the souls we've taken just to complete this whole uh, adventure right here in Pokemon Brown. Yes, I feel dominant. I feel like such a smug asshole just because of that. And look at this. Okay, so we are close, and I believe we did buy ourselves a few repels, so I don't want to mess with any of these guys right here. So let's see. Where's the repel? Look at that. We got ourselves 14 repels just in case for this situation, and look at that. We're running through. Hello, Hayward City. I didn't miss you. Now, let's go ahead and go to this area right here because there were a few trees that we needed to cut. Let's see what we can actually find in this area now that we can actually cut something. Let's see, Shroomy, you're here. Let's cut this. Yes, sir. Okay, so now we've opened up an area right here. And I'm not going to put on a repel because I kind of want to see what kind of Pokemon we can actually find here. And, well, it looks like to me that that was just a shortcut. You serious? Good gravy. Okay. Never mind. Let's uh, use another repel because... We can, and we will, and let's get the heck out of here, okay? So let's go straight to another another route right here. Now, I believe we have to go east of uh, east of Hayward City in order to go into the next city. As you can see, look at that. We found more trees, more dreaded trees, and let's go with more cuts. Okay. Look at that, and the rappel has worn off, and, well, there are going to be Pokemon trainers and let's see okay so you, you either choose left or right you battle the Pokemon or you battle a trainer and here we have a TMO3 and TMO3 happens to be Swords Dance a very nice move who could learn that Sunny can learn that and Shroomy can and I'm not gonna be wasting that on anybody right now so we got two trainers waiting for us let's go ahead and start battling everybody right here yeah buddy let's go Oh, Silk Tunnel, are you? Yes, I am. Okay, alrighty, okay. So we're taking on Junior Trainer Female, and whoa, she is coming out with a ditto. I got a little bit of a, a strategy right here. Okay, do that. Transform. And there we go. Going up against a Nita uh, Reno copy of ourselves. But good thing is that we do have ourselves an Ultra Psycho to actually destroy this guy. And what the heck? Okay, so it didn't copy, but it is a Nidorino. So it does take up the properties of Nidorino right here. So look at that. It is weak against Psychic types. Critical hit. Say goodbye to Ditto. And look at that. Ultra Psycho is just growing to be our best Pokemon right now. And here comes a Seal. I do not like Seal, so let's go back to Sunny right here. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm going to plug in my laptop right here, that way I don't, yeah, it doesn't lose any power or anything. There we go, and there we go, okay, so we're not, we're not going to lose anything while we're recording, and look at this, okay, so now it's just going to be coming out with an Oddish, good thing I got myself Zoro for this one. Alrighty, let's go Zoro. Let's go, get your Ember attack right here. And that nearly takes out Oddish right here, so here comes a little poison powder. I'm a little screwed right now. Did I buy myself some antidotes? Crap, I don't think I bought myself some antidotes. This is some ridiculous crud. Okay, so here comes a Bell Sprout. Let's go ahead and continue with Zoro right here. And going with Ember attack yet again. There goes Bell Sprout. Oh, yes. And Zoro grows to level 17, which is great. Yes, I am a little brat, but we still win. And did I get myself a, an antidote right here? 
No, I don't have any antidotes. So, oh crap, gotta go back to Hayward City. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here I am back in the flash right here, and well, now we gotta go back right here and take on the next trainer, but let's see, there's no new item right here. Let's go right ahead and let's see. Thrasher, I would love to use you, but right now you're just not cutting it, so let's go straight to Bruce Lee. Just to, you know, make sure that we don't get messed with. And he's like, wow, great, I was bored, eh? Oh, look at that, okay, alrighty. So here we go, going up against a hiker, and here he comes out with a Diglett, so it's a darn good matchup against uh, Bruce Lee right here. And, well, let's go ahead and start, go straight with a double kick. And it never fails, never fails us. Bruce Lee, you are the man right here, and look at this, level 26. And, well, he's about to come out with an Onyx. Let's go straight for Sunny right here. Now, I'm trying to train these two Pokemon up just a little bit more since they've always been my two key Pokemon right now. And, well, let's go Razor Leaf. Finishing off this Onyx right here. Look at this. Say goodbye to Onyx. Oh, yes. Goodbye, Onyx. Okay, alrighty. So we're doing, th we're doing good things right here. Very, very good things, defeating these guys. And, well, now it's time for us to move on right here. And there is no new item right there. But there is a new trainer waiting for us. And, well, let's see. Kind of want to use Thrash right here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay, so... Hey, you! Yeah, you. Battle now! Okay, so that was kind of odd, but... It, yeah, okay, whatever. Never mind. So here we go, going up against a junior trainer, coming with his Growlithe, and well, I kind of don't have the Pokemon right now for this guy, so here he comes with his Leer attack. They're always going for Thrasher's defense, what the hell? Alright, here comes Ember attack, and that does hit us, it does hit us a little bit hard. And right now we are winning, so here we go, again another Horn attack, alright Thrasher, you're really kicking butt right now, and... Let's go ahead and, oh crud, get, we're getting bitten right here, so here we go, horn attack for the win, and that is my alarm right there, good gravy, there we go, and look at that, okay, so we're going to be going up against a Charmander right here, so let's go straight for another Pokemon that can do the job, let's go straight for Bruce Lee, now, I think off screen I will be going back to Lapras, if there is no, like, if there are no bushes around right here, or something like that, I don't know. Because we need a Water-type Pokemon. We need an Electric-type Pokemon. But right now, like, I'm only seeing Johto po or I'm only seeing uh, Kanto Pokemon. And the only Johto Pokemon I've seen are at the gym. And, well, look at that. Insects for the win! Huh. You don't say. Okay, so here we go. Another Bug Catcher. And, wow, he is coming out with his Beedrill. So this is, a. Uh, this is a good this is a good change of pace right here, so let's go straight for Zoro. Zoro, the ultimate Pokemon right here. And here comes a Fury attack. This actually gets a critical hit. And wow, we're getting our butts kicked by a Beedrill. Holy crud, okay. So Beedrill's actually living up to his full potential right here, and it, well, because it is fast, yeah, we're getting yeah, we're getting destroyed by Beedrill. Holy shoots. And look at that. So there we go. We take one good hit. And it doesn't look like we're going to actually... We're not going to be able to hit this guy. So he just he's going to go straight for Fury Attacks. It doesn't matter. But he missed right here. So let's go ahead and go for a quick attack so we can hit this guy first. And, well, it looks like its defense is a little, is a little bit high right there. So its first one is always a critical hit, which bugs the crap out of me. No pun intended. And, well, there goes Zoro. Alright, now you've woken up the beast. Let's go, Bruce Lee. Finish him. Double kick attack. Not so effective, but it's both. It's two kicks right here. Look at that. Say goodbye to Beedrill. And, well, look at that. Thrasher has grown to level 17. And, well, he's coming out with another Beedrill. So, let's go right ahead and go with, with Ultra Psycho right here. Okay, Ultra Psycho, ready to kick some butt, take some names. Look at that, Ultra Psycho, go with a Confusion Attack. And that is super effective against Beedrill. Oh yeah, okay. Alrighty, look at that! 
Beyond Lame. Okay, so let's move on right here. And it well, looks like we got another bug catch right here, so let's go right ahead and switch out to Ultra Psycho. Now, <laughs> crud. The tunnel ahead leads to Moraga Town. So I guess we're going to have to go to a tunnel, which, you know, has always been our funnest place, right? Kind of, I don't know. But here he comes out with a Charmander. Let's go, Ultra Psycho, ready to destroy everybody right here. So let's go with a Confusion Attack. Yeah, buddy. And, well, there's that Growl Attack. Not really going to do much against me. So let's go again. And there we go. So let's see. He's coming out with a Squirtle. I'm going to be coming out with my Sunny right here because Sunny can defeat this guy. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. So here we go. Body or Razor Leaf for the win. Look at this. Razor Leaf does its thing. And there goes Squirtle. Oh, yes. And, well, here comes a Bulbasaur. So let's go straight for another Pokemon. Let's go with Shroomy. I don't want to use Shroomy right here. Now, this guy has starter Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Let's go, Shroomy. Let's see what you can do. Let's get this with the cut attack. And, well, here comes a Leech Seed. Doesn't it work on me? And there goes a nice cut attack. So let's try it again. And here comes a sleep attack. Crap baskets. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm going to have to speed this up, speed this up, speed this up. Okay, so again, another sleep. Speed it up again. Speed it up. There we go. Speed it up. There we go. Okay, so that that right there, when it gets into a loop, it just annoys me. So that's why I have to speed it up, guys. So here we go. Sunny, let's get this. And apparently this guy has all the starters in Generation 1. I believe you can actually capture a Pikachu somewhere, like, at the very, very beginning. And, well, there we go. Let's get it. There we go. There we go. Say goodbye to Pikachu right there. And, well, can't measure up. You can't measure up against me. Okay, so, let's see. There's nothing right here except for jumping into this area. You've already battled th those guys. So, let's see. I think we're going to have to go right here. And let's go right ahead and use another repel just in case. There's a trainer right there. And, well, let's see, let's see. We're going to have to... Yeah, actually, let's go with uh, Thrasher right here. Kind of want to use him for right now. And let's see what this guy has to say. Bug Pokemon never lose. That is complete hogwash. I will tell you that right now. Complete hogwash, and this guy coming out with his Venonat. Okay, Venonat. We got a little bit of a... Uh, a bone to pick with you right here. So here we go, horn attack. And here comes a disable attack right here. And it takes away our leer. So it's kind of cool right there that, you know, it still keeps the Gen 1 capabilities and all that stuff. Where disable is more of a random attacker than, uh, you know, the last at attack attacker, if you guys know what I mean. And look at that. Coming out with another Venonat. So let's go again with the Rasher right here. And uh, go horn attack. Look at that. And here comes another disabled. Does not work. And look at that. We're not disabled anymore, but there is that chance that we might get disabled on our horn attack. And here we go again. Horn attack for the win. Come on. And nope. No disable. So let's go again. Horn attack does the trick. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. And Thrasher grows to level 18, which is great. Here comes another Venonat. Let's go ahead and just destroy this Venonat with... You know, good old Thrasher in his horn attack here. And let's see. Nothing. Tackle attack. Alright, let's speed through this. Speed through it. Speed through it. And Thrasher is the victor. So, uh, there we go. Your bugs really suck. Okay. Okay, so... Wow, we... We, we, we got... Wait, hold on just a sec. I gotta take a look at this map right here. Okay, so... We... Good gravy. Okay, so... Jesus criminy. Okay. So Silk Tunnel's that way, and we got ways to go from what it seems like. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon to Ultra Psycho, and battle this person right here, and well, what is it, pervert? Oh, wow. Okay, so 
Well, that's the first time we're being called a pervert, especially in a game right here. So that right there is kind of a... Yeah, okay. So, who cares? Let's go. Confusion attack. Yeah, buddy. Destroying this guy right here. Here comes a bite attack. And yes, it does have a... Well, they, it does have the dark type capability. So there we go. Bug type. You're being this... Or not dark or bug type. Bug type or... Yeah, you guys know what I mean. Good gravy. Confusing my words. And here he's learning confusion. What, or disable. So let's go ahead and take away bite. Didn't necessarily need bite for anything. So there you go. Disable has been learned. And junior trainer has been fini finished. And she's like nasty. Maybe one day. But don't count on it. So you mean there's a chance. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't get these people. Okay. So here is Silk Tunnel right here. So... We're going to pause our game. Off screen, I am going to try and find some new Pokemon. If not, I'm going to just switch out a few Pokemon here and there just for the hell of it. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying this walkthrough and as much as I'm playing it. And I'll be right back for another episode of Pokemon Brown. See you guys.